What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's the new town. Welcome to episode number 3 of WWE 2K22 My Rise. This is going to be the first episode where I'm trying to do a post commentary. Hope you like it, uh, hopefully it comes out good. I've never tried it before, but I want to try it out. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think it's gonna be alright, it might be even better. And without any further ado, leave a like on the video guys, comment down below. What do you think about the series? What do you want to see? Subscribe to the channel, support me, slot me, and let's get into the story. Well, you're one of the best, and now you know what happens when you step up and face real competition. And hey, don't feel bad. A lot of other guys have lost to me. It's in the thousands last I checked. It's just one match. I'll be ready for the next opportunity to face you. I'm not gonna be around here too long. That might have been your one and only chance to impress the coaches and Triple H, and you blew it. I'm not gonna let one setback stop me from making it to WWE. And there are other ways to get noticed around here besides beating you. Uh, that's true. Like, former mascot. Or, I don't know, bake some brownies for Road Dog? He looks like a brownie guy. Anyway, as they say around here, locking your future endeavors. What's up people, let's check what's going on in the social media. There's a tweet from Alexa Bliss that we're gonna click on and see what it is about. We are challenged right here. We are a chance to compete in a 2 vs 2 mixed tag team match and we're gonna accept. We're gonna see what it's about. Get a chance to wrestle with the WWE Superstar while we're still in the Performance Center. She's gonna be on our team and we'll see what happens. We'll see who our opponents are gonna be. And as you can see right here, Paragon J. Pierce, we have, we'll get the chance to get a rematch on him and ask her. So we're gonna accept this 2 vs 2 match. And here we are in the match, guys. This is gonna be some of the highlights. This match was really, really long. Like, if you gotta be honest, this match in real time was like 40 minutes long. I cut most of it. It just took on forever and forever when, you know, with tag team matches and how it is, the guy that's on the outside always interferes, so yeah, it was kind of annoying, but we'll, you will see what happened. Uh, legendary difficulty this year is really, really challenging. As you can see, there is the first time that we, count, we get a double team action with Alexa Bliss and we actually get to control her also I thought, I thought I'm gonna control only my player but we're gonna control Alexa Bliss as well we're gonna go for the pin uh, the referee is stuck in an animation we got just a one count Asuka is kicking out now we're in their corner she won't go for a double team but she's putting in work on us in the corner beasting and feasting we got a counter right there and we're gonna try to put uh, some damage with Alexa Bliss, she's a way higher overall than us, but even with our male player we got no worries when it comes to Paragon J Pierce, you know. We missed with our running offense right there, she get, he counters it and he puts us to the ground, putting some damage to the arm right there. Guys, let me know down in the comments what do you think about the post commentary, I don't know if it will be better. I feel like live commentary might be the move, it might be better, but I had to try out post commentary and the next two or three episodes are gonna be post commentary as well so let me know what you think how it comes out it might be better it might be worse somebody might like it somebody might not and Paragon JP is going to the top row but we press triangle on time and he misses badly nobody's home and we hit him with a cold breaker which is not our signature finisher but this is just a nice move that I equip to my moveset I really like this year that you can put into your uh, running offense and grapples and stuff moves like uh, you can do a spear from a running attack just by uh, running towards the, your opponent and pressing square you can do stuff like this where you hit a cold breaker just by a grapple 
We got our signature and we're, we're gonna go for a hurricane rana. We missed badly, but we're gonna do it again. And the hurricane rana is successful. We're gonna go for the first spear of this match. By the way, guys, I changed my my moves. You're gonna see it in I don't know, maybe episode six or seven, something like that. I changed some of my moves. My moves are just like an uh, aerial threat, a high flyer. I don't got a spear anymore, but for now we're gonna stick with the spirits. Nice move. Alexa Bliss is back in the action. And we're gonna go for the double team attack again. A spear by Bliss to Asuka again. We're gonna go for the pin right there. She's gonna kick out unfortunately this time. Like I said, it's a really tough match. I don't think I have hit, I might have hit uh, a longer match than this, probably a ladder match, but I did like, in combined between the two players, I did like 10 finishers, signatures uh, in the end, before a match ended. Uh, they reversed a lot of uh, signature moves and finishers, but in the beginning they were all connecting and I still couldn't get a pin. Ask kicks out to two right there after the nice move and to combo pin. And Asuka is doing her finisher right now. I couldn't reverse it this time. A deadly move by her. But she's not gonna go for a pin. She goes for a tap. And we are back in control with our male player right now. DC. And nice uh, dragging move to put Paragon JPS to the ground. We got our finisher, uh, our finisher again. We're gonna hold him, get him back up. Fortunately, we don't connect on this time. He reverses it and he got finisher, finisher on his own right now. And we gotta be really careful. He's going just for a grapple right now. And he hits us with suplex. No pin, just suplex. There's a running attack that we couldn't reverse either. And Asuka is back into the ring. So it's Alexa Bliss. A submission move there by Asuka, which we're gonna easily avoid. Uh, DC can break the pin, uh, the submission, because that would be a disqualification, so we had to escape on our own, but uh, we hadn't, so at this point we hadn't suffered barely any damage with Bliss, as you can see, only her body is yellow, uh, as soon as I begin, began to talk about it, her head is yellow as well right now, but like I said, yeah, no, not enough damage taken from Bliss so far, and that's another finisher by her, we're gonna go for a pin. See if we can end the match there, but unfortunately, Paragon J Pierce enters the ring, and I don't know why, but the ref breaks the count. A signature by Bliss, really nice move right there. I will try to put her up for a finisher. Trying her into the corner, she reverses it, no double team action right there, and she puts it to the ground with a German suplex. She's driving us to their corner, but we reverse it, we get back, back, we get control back of things, and we hit her with a finisher. Fortunately, Paragon J Pierce is right there, he's gonna enter the ring once again and break the pin, the count once again. As you can see, nice work by DC right there to put him down with the move. But, like I said, this is becoming a really, really long match, even the edited version. But. As you saw, after all these signature finisher moves and whatever, whatever I did, it was just not enough. I'm gonna make a tag right there to put DC back into the match. And while Paragon JP is on the outside, we're gonna go for a move from the top rope. We're gonna t wait until he comes standing and we hit him with a elbow to the face, which puts him right back down. I tried to get him back into the ring, he, into the ring but he reverses there. And he couldn't connect with the aerial attack right there off the ropes. And we hit him with another hurricane runner. I don't know, this might be a fifth or sixth, I don't know. I hit him with so many signature and finisher moves, I lost count. Uh, no spear there, I couldn't hit with the spear, Re he reversed. This is the point where, like I said, they started to reverse most of my moves. He tries to go for the double team, drag him, dragging me into the corner, but I reverse once again. And I get control back of things and put him to the ground. Heavy attacks are one of my favorite moves, the Moonsault. 
We are high flyer, so we're gonna go to the top row, try to hit a frog splash. And he puts his knees up. A lot of damage is dealt to us as well at this point. Our body is red. Alexa Blitz back into the match. She is pretty fresh. She got just her body and he had yellow. Meanwhile, as you can see, Asuka is uh, red body, red head, yellow hands. Paragon JPS, red body, orange head. But he's got a finisher. He's not in the rig right now. So we got nothing to worry about. Asuka is going for a German suplex off the ground. She picked, it up, picked us up. A great showcase of strength by her. And probably you're already getting uh, bored of this match. But like I said, uh, if I had left the whole version of it, it would have been like 40 minutes. It's so annoying to edit, but what can you do? From we go for a small package right there. Unfortunately, I press cancel. Uh, I didn't want, but I press cancel, so we broke the pin. We hit him with a spear out of nowhere. A two count, and that was gonna be a three, but Asuka broke it. There was no way he was getting up from this many spears. And yet another spear. This might have been the tenth spear. Uh, Put him straight into the match. Two count and Asuka breaks it once again. It was really like I couldn't do anything because while I was in the ring with DC, I couldn't hit Asuka. I couldn't put her off the apron. So there was pretty much nothing I could do. The only way, another spear, the third spear in the last one minute. And one, two, and once again Asuka breaks the count even though we were right into our corner. It was really annoying that uh, Bliss couldn't put her away. And at this point, uh, the only way I could have think of uh, winning this match was with the double team move. There it is, a spear. We go for a pin, and she kicks out once again at two. Even though you can see how much uh, ask her how much damage he has taken, she's not going down. We hit her with a finish with a finisher, and. Once again, Paragon J Pierce is gonna. Actually, not. This was a time that was really surprised because Paragon J Pierce was knocked down. He couldn't enter the ring. And Asuka kick out from this uh, DDT fin uh, Alexa Bliss finisher move. I was really surprised because you all saw how much damage she had taken. Uh, fortunately, this time they reverse our double team move. And Paragon J Pierce will try to put us through his finisher. But we. Thank God we reverse. We hit him with a running attack that puts his, him back to the ground. He has got another finisher though. We gotta be really careful about that. Dropping elbows, one, two, and not the one, but a stomp to the face. And he has got a signature and a finisher. He will try to go for a finisher again. He does not. We got a spear on our own. A spear, one, two, and again, Oscar at the last moment at the last point of a second she breaks the count that was gonna be a trade like uh, you also just by the edits how many spears he had taken um, and probably uh, there were even more but they get a reverse once again on the double team action and this match is starting to look like it's never gonna end uh, Ask is going for her finisher move though, which is really dangerous because I couldn't reverse it. And honestly, uh, if she had gone for the pin right there, he probably he would have lost because uh, DC was knocked down. But we had a finisher there, and will this be the W? One, two, and no, oh, Paragon enters the ring again and breaks the count. It's really annoying. I don't know why the ref breaks the count. This does not happen in real life, but what can you do? It's 2K. Ask try to take control back of things. We get a reverse, she gets a reverse. We're going back and forth. Like I said, this match looking like there's not gonna be an ending to it. It's coming to an end, I can tell you that. We put the Irish Ripter into the ropes. I'm going yet for another pin and this is so annoying guys. I don't know 
okay how long is going to continue we go for a dirty pin while paragon is on the ground a two and the ref stopped the count once again Asuka was not getting up this had to be one of the most frustrating matches that have that i have ever played through uh, we had a signature there but we couldn't connect on it and Asuka put us down with a drop kick she gets a reverse there, I'm not sure yet, yeah, it's on the finisher and a German suplex puts us back into the ground. Asuka is taunting us right now, she's trying to get her finisher, we reverse, thank god we reverse. She reverses our finisher right back. Like I said, it was a really defensive, I mean, it's not a really defensive though because y'all saw how many finishers I delivered. Paragon connects on a frag splash from the top rope. He's not gonna go for a pin though. He's dragging us into the corner. No double team action right there. He's dealing a lot of damage to us. We got a reverse though. And he will try to make us tap out right there. As you can see, we are both in blood. I am in blood. He's in blood. Uh, in this scenario though, the women can break off the submissions. And I'm putting him through a combo and he's down on the ground. I got a chance to pin him with a dirty pin, but I'm, I got my finisher, so another spear connects out of nowhere, a little hesitation there, but I didn't want to go for a pin, I knew Asuka would break it, so I was trying to think, what can I do, I wanted to try the double team thing again, it was successful, he did not reverse it, put, him, put them both out with a spear, I, but they reversed once again, we're back on the ground, they're back in control of things. This match is getting really annoying, honestly, at this point I wanted to lose, but I was so tired, I was so bored of this match, I might have just forfeited the game, but as you all saw there, we delivered the DDT to Asuka, tried to knock off Paragon off the apron, he countered us, and that's disqualification. The win is for us, we are back into the lobby guys. Titus O'Neil has got something to say to us. A little beef over, as you already know, I chose a football athletic uh, prehistory of my player. I couldn't remember quite what it was told. But yeah, Titus has got something to say to us about his football prehistory ground. We got something to say, and we're gonna serve with a match. Another chance to play against the WWE uh, main roster guy while well, we we're still in the performance, so we're gonna accept an Iron Man match. This one was not that long, guys. I mean, it was 10 minutes. Uh, it's regulate this, this uh, Iron Man match. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, mostly, I'm gonna show you just uh, the pinfalls in this match. I'm not gonna waste your time to. Most of the match, I'm gonna show you the beginning, and then we're gonna go to the pinfalls. Less than six, seven minutes left, we hit him with our first spear. Might have been not my first, though, I think he kicked out from the first, but maybe a second or a third spear there. Um, makes us up one in the score. With six minutes left, we're up 1 0. He still hasn't got a pin on us. We're, defend, we're playing really great against the WWE main roster guy. We're gonna reverse that row and he put us down with his finisher. And he's gonna tie up the score. We're not, we almost kicked out, but we couldn't. I gotta work on my resilience. I gotta up my resiliency rating. Because when they deliver one finisher to me, it's really, that's it. I can't get up after they put just one finisher to me. So I really gotta work on my resiliency and another finisher by Titus O'Neil this is uh, another variation he gets the three count once again and he turned around he turned things around it's 2-1 for him we lost our late but we're gonna make a comeback a hurricane around Titus O'Neil after the taunting from the apron and we're gonna go for a spear there is the spear and we're gonna try to tie the game one, two, and we get a three count. The match is so tight at two apiece. We got yet another finisher after a nice combo with a light and heavy attack. We put 
Titus to the ground with an Enziguri. We got another spear like set. We got 3 minutes left in this match. We hit him with another spear. And we might take the lead right back right there. And this is what happens. 3 count is successful. We get it. And we have the lead by 1 once again. We're toiling, taunting Titus even though he was really close. And we couldn't connect with the Hurricane around there. We get a reverse there. Because we guessed his move. The heavy attack, actually it's a light attack. We deliver a hurricane roll and a spear. We're gonna go for another spear. I think there this is where he kicked out. Yeah, he kicked out. He had suffered a lot of damage. Signature and a finisher. Right back one after another. But he kicks out from the spin. It's still a ball game. He got we got the lead just by one. We deliver a frog splash though, and we're gonna go for a pin. Let's see if we can get a two point advantage. We did not. Titus kicks out once again, but we got our finisher once again. My finisher was filling up with ease at this match, and Titus is not kicking out from this one. There is a three count. We got the lead by two, and there's just one minute left. A frog splash is delivered, but we're not gonna stop the damage and the punishment that we deliver on Titus O'Neil he had the lead by 3 a moonsault he kicks out from it the frog splash pin was really nice I really like that move the frog splash ran from, from the top rope it was the default move that I had there is a rank, nice ring attack that puts him back into the ground a moonsault no pin there there are just 20 seconds left I almost got my I actually got my finished signature I delivered the Hurricanrana, a spear, 6 seconds left, just in time to get our last pinfall down, and this is it, a win against Tysonio. We're gonna go to some messages right there. Road Dog is talking about some optional homework, um, about some WWE Legends, we're gonna accept, and we're gonna have choice to select couple of WWE legends that we will have to go against Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage and Bret Hart and we're gonna go through a fantasy match I chose Macho Man, Randy Savage, I was thinking about Hulk Hogan I played against Bret Hart in some of the... in a game, in a game before so I chose Macho Man, Randy Savage because I have... I don't think I've played against him and we're gonna accept and go into this match again, this fantasy match against Macho Man Rand Savage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Jackson, you are talking about one of the greatest to ever step in the ring. The madness has taken over. And there we are guys, we're into the match, we're gonna go for a pin really early after the moonsault and it took 2 seconds for him to get up, a 2 and a half was needed for matchmen to get up. Uh, the atmosphere was really cool guys, uh, I haven't noticed uh, this in older versions of the game where you played in an older arena and like I said I really like the atmosphere, it's uh, feeling really nice. Uh, you also saw my entrance, but I have not. Uh, I haven't done this entrance. I got a really special entrance. I did a really cool entrance, a customized one that you're gonna see in. I'm not sure which episode it might be. I don't think it's gonna be the next one. It might be the one after. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool entrance. You my, saw my gear though. I changed it up a bit. I changed it up. I'm not with this pants that you see right now and I changed my shoes I kept the shields um, how, what is it called uh, gear I got on top of my body it's really dope this like body armor thing I think it's really cool and uh, the graphics are just so good guys 
Yeah, it's just awesome. Uh, the graphics on the body armor, like I said, uh, and on the chain, Seamus' chain are really awesome. They're really detailed. Macho Man put us down on the floor. His signature, he tried to go for a dropping elbow from the top row, but thankfully we reversed and he couldn't go for a pin because even uh, if he delivered his dropping elbow, this would have probably been it. But like I said, thankfully we reversed. We're right back into the game. We got our combo move. And we hit all the buttons, we put him to the ground. And we got our Hurricane Rana. We're taunting him up. I really like this hoose. Don't. And he reverses the signature. Oh, we couldn't do it. And he's back in control of things. A kick to the gut does not work. Nice move right there. Bang, another moonsault. We're gonna go for a pin. My combo moves are really nice, guys. Like, moves that go one after another. I really like them. I did not do this thing on purpose, like so. Getting glitched a bit. We are just pouring it on him. A couple of light attacks and another moon stone. But sometimes I try, I begin to spam it. So there is he reverses it right there. We get a reverse right back, kick to the back of the leg, and a hurricane runner. It connects. There is a taunt, the old stone. And the spear connects as well. Let's see if we can put him down. Actually, I'm not gonna go for a pin because we got another finish. See, the second spear connects, it does, and now we're gonna go for a pin. No way he kicks out from two spears right after one after another, but he does because this match man around the savage. The legend, the, the difficulty is on legendary, and this is what happens. But we're going to the top rope, a frog splash. And he reverses it. We are right back into things, but this time Randy Savage is on the top row, but here we reverse his elbow once again. Nice running attack right there into his face and a moonsault. Like I said, guys, my combos are nice. My one two moves, one after another, they're really nice put together and they look really professional and real. We're gonna try something different, try to put him onto the top rope and go for a superplex. He reversed, puts us into a grapple and a neck shocker is delivered to us. I'm surprised actually we were not stunned from this. Tried to keep hitting with a couple of moves. It doesn't work, but there is a combo breaker right there. Chain combo breaker, I'm not sure what it was. A spear is delivered to him though, out of nowhere. I don't think he's kicking out from this one, two. And in a three count, we beat Macho Man Randy Savage in this Dream Fantasy match. We get the dub. Let's move on and see what happens next. We won the match against Matchman Randy Savage. We're gonna have one more fantasy match, but this is going to be in the next episode, and we'll see again who it is and what it is about. Guys, this is going to be it for episode number three. That's all for this uh, video. I know the matches were not that interesting and entertaining, but this is the story. What can I do? I mean, I could reject some of these storylines, but I wanted to go through all through it all. I didn't want to skip any matches. So, I mean, the tag team match was kind of uh, entertaining. It was a really, really long match. We haven't had probably a that long of a match in a while. And I edited it. It was in real time, it's like 40 minutes. And so I cut out most of the match. So th this video was not one hour long. And yeah, guys, this is going to be about this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what do you think. What type of content do you want to see on the channel? Subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell to get notifications for my new videos. The support means a lot to me and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.